right? So if you're trying to be as efficient as you can be, trying to survive the 10 minute set, whether you're using one bell or doubles, you're trying to maintain that, uh, that positioning. So the same trajectory should be used whether you're bringing the bell up or down, right? So keep that in mind. Okay. Another aspect and the positive effect of leaning back is you create a more balanced system. Remember, as you swing the bell up, as it moves all the way, it's going to pull you forward. So in order to compensate for that, compensate for that shifting center of gravity, you're going to have to compensate and lean back slightly. And that angle of leaning will depend on the weight of the kettlebell and your own uh, mass distributions. You can, uh, you can almost imagine that there is a, a wall in front of you. So if you bring the bells too far, they're going to hit the wall and that will be it. You'll have to drop the bell. So you can have that mental imagery in front of you so that when you're lifting the bells, you're forced to lean back, get the bells and then get, get under them. Another thing why leaning back is so important is, is balance. Right, look, you have two heavy kettlebells that you're doing an exercise with. You're trying to get stronger, get the heart pumping. And if you do it improperly, what's going to happen? The, the kettlebells, they have a certain mass to them. And as you get them going, they're going to pull you. Your center of mass is going to shift forward because now you're attached to these kettlebells. It's a new mechanical system. So if you're just going to stand here, I mean, even with these bells, I'm getting pulled forward and I have to kind of step a little bit. So instead, compensate, counterbalance by leaning back. So you're going to accomplish two things. One, you're going to stay in balance and counterbalance the, the kettlebells. And two, the bells are going to travel in a nice short path and everything be nice and efficient. Right? So in the next clip, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the, the proper hand positioning and exactly how to go from the swinging movement to transitioning into the rack position. Let's do it.